because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. only catch. It would kill her. Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Hello, people of the internet. I have a problem. I am straight up terrible at stealth in video games. In every single video game I have ever played, I have managed to be the absolute worst at stealth. Am I impatient or am I just plain bad at games? Well, today I am going to find out and I'm going to beat The Last of Us Part 2 stealth only. But before that, this video is sponsored by me. Guess what, everybody? I just published a book. It's called Little Angel, and it's a wholesome kids picture book that teaches children valuable life lessons. I know, kind of a weird place to plug my book considering the kind of videos I make on here, but I'm poor and I have nowhere else to advertise. Sorry. This is the second book that I have ever published and I am super excited about it. So if you or someone you know has a kid between the ages of zero to five and you wanna get them a nice present, especially cause the holidays are coming up, wink wink, then you should check out my book, Little Angel. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, if you know any kids between sixth and eighth grade, then you should also check out my other book, Zero Sympathy for Me. <laughs> also available on Amazon. And I'll put a link in the description of that as well. Yeah, I like to write kids books. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching my little ad and especially big thanks to anyone who actually goes out there and buys my book. I seriously appreciate it. Writing is a big passion of mine and it means a lot to me that you guys would support me. Seriously, thank you. Not to mention, actually having some money makes it a little bit easier for me to work on videos. Shocking, I know. So by supporting my book, you are also supporting my channel, which helps me to make more videos for you. So once again, if you or someone you know is in the need of some wholesome family fun for the holidays in the form of a super cute picture book, then I suggest that you check out my book, Little Angel. Anyway, now that I'm done with that super tone deaf product placement, let's get back to the video. <laughs> okay, so let's go over the ground rules I followed during this run. Obviously, I need to remain in stealth the whole game. As long as none of the enemies spot me, I am in the clear. If at any point any of the enemies do spot me, which, let's be real, is a very likely possibility for me, then I will have to restart the whole encounter. I am allowed to use any weapons I want for this challenge, so long as they don't alert anyone to my attention. So technically, if you think about it, I'm only allowed to use maybe four weapons if I don't want to fail. And just to add a bit of risk to this reward, I will be playing the game on survivor mode. This seems like a very bad bad idea considering my history with stealth, but you know what? I believe in myself. But because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like scavenging during the run, I turned on infinite ammo. Look guys, I haven't been doing it much lately and it's been a total pain in my butt. I'm just too lazy for it. And obviously cutscenes don't count since I have no control over the character, and I am allowed to kill enemies so long as none of their friends see me. Anyway, now that we've got the ground rules laid out, let's hop into this thing. So Jesse and I began our day by heading out to get our daily bigot sandwich. Bigot sandwiches. Joel can't function without his coffee in the morning just like I can't function without my bigot sandwiches. And of course, Ellie and Dina have a nice snowball fight with some kids, but I will not count this as a fail since these 10 year olds really don't qualify as a threat to me. Maybe they do for Dina, but I'm pretty sure I could take them in a fight. But since they're not quote unquote enemies, I will not count it. Meanwhile, Abby is off facing some real enemies and immediately making me fail my challenge. Thanks so much, Abby, I really appreciate it. But I was able to sneak my way through the house with ease and narrowly dodge the infected outside. All the while, Dina and Ellie are off goofing around in the snow. Hey, I'm gonna guess this bong was your jeans. Huh? That's mine. He gave it to me. <gasps> Dina! Drugs? Shame, Dina. Shame. I'm a children's author, I should know. So I am able to stealth kill the infected boy at the supermarket, but unfortunately, the second guy spots me. <sighs> Why does this game have to make my life so hard? Then after that, I easily sneak attacked the zombos outside and then got jump attacked. Then I ninja attacked the clickers downstairs and totally nailed the last round of infected boys. Way to go me. So Dean and I busted our way out of the supermarket and decided that we wanted to hang out at the library. Finally, we can enjoy our time reading some quality literature. Dina, stop doing drugs. So anyway, I have to fail my challenge again while Abby is running away from the horde of zombies. Abby, I just wanted to let you know that I hate you. Since Abby technically is being attacked by the infected during the entire ski lodge section, I'm just gonna count this whole area as one big fail and move on. Freaking Abby. And yeah, Ellie does get spotted by the WLF jerk brains, but since it's a cutscene, I will not count it. You're gonna fucking die! Is that like a personal attack or something? And then they let Ellie go, for some reason. You idiot! All right, 
time for revenge. I quietly maneuvered my way through the dome building and epically took out the guys at the courthouse. Look at me go. And since the game spawns enemies into the area to attack me in the basement fight, I am forced to fail my challenge once again. And I only found it a little aggravating. So now that we have the gas, it's time to head to the Saravina Hotel. So when handling the infected, I took the unconventional approach of sneak attacking them with bomb arrows. I was able to hide in a little corner by the front door and the dum-dums never even noticed me. Nice. And with that, we're off. I still have some of those almond things left if you're hungry. I'll eat when I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead. You got any granola? All right, now technically you could argue that the whole school section is one big fail since the enemies know that I'm there, but I'm only gonna add a fail for the first two parts of the encounter since the enemies instantly know where I am. I tried it a few different times and they always run right towards me, so I'll just take the L. Then, for some reason, when I got outside, I thought it would be a good idea to shoot an explosive arrow at a group of wolves. Why? I honestly don't know. It's very stupid. <laughs> so I restarted the encounter and it went much better. And the roof section was a breeze. I just hid till all the enemies left and I was golden. Getting through the town section was no problem, since I basically always stealth my way through there. Unfortunately, these infected guys spotted me by the bombed area. Bum, 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 Very sneaky, Alex. Very sneaky. And then we reach the TV station fight. Your eyes open. What? They never spotted me. I'd say it counts. What doesn't count is the chase scene that follows. Dang it, Dina, I was doing so good. So after doing some fancy maneuvering, I was able to sneak past the first round in the sewer. I was spotted by the clicker that runs at the door, but I'm not gonna count it since I considered this a cutscene. And then after going at a snail's pace in the next area, I was able to stealth my way through the area. Of course, the shambler did notice me while I was opening the door, so I'll be fair and add that. And basically the same thing happens in the last area. I was able to stealth my way through and then the shambler caught me at the end. I honestly don't think there's anything I could really do about that. Oh well. And then, just to rub it in, the cutscene had to come along and make me fail once again. Curse you, cutscenes! I told you. I'm immune. Okay. You're immune? Come on. That's right, Dina. I'm immune. I am the protagonist, after all. I think I'm pregnant. Dina, shut up. I don't care that you're pregnant. We're talking about my immunity. I'm the protagonist, Dina, not you. Flashback. Nothing of note happens. Moving on. End of flashback. Day two. Anyway, after doing a few rounds of hide and go seek with the WLFs, because I kept getting myself spotted like an idiot, I slyly navigated my way through the infected section with few issues. Unfortunately, I did have to fight Boris in the garage. Curse you, Boris. <laughs> I did my usual technique to get through the second WLF fight, which worked pretty good. It's all about the particular movements, my friend. All about the movements. So I ran to Jesse and he got us spotted in the car chase section. Fortunately, I wasn't failing my challenge due to shooting people. I was failing this challenge just for being noticed at all. I am really harnessing the full eighth grader mentality in this challenge. Don't look at me! All right, it's flashback time. Yeah. Again. Luckily, the Tommy sniper section doesn't count because the infected never noticed that I'm shooting them. Not today, Tommy. Not today. So I mentioned this before in another video, but if you can stealth kill all the infected at the hotel area, then the second wave never shows up and you can just move on to the next room. Yay! And then I am forced to fight the bloater and fail my challenge once again. You really did just have to put your full weight on that little pipe, didn't you, Ellie? I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. All right, now we have a real problem, the stalker section. The thing is, the stalkers can see me the second I enter the area. And even if I can't see them, they definitely can see me. And due to the way they operate, it's basically impossible for me to get through this area in stealth. So I automatically fail twice. Awesome. But I was able to take out the first batch of scars with no issues. So I guess that makes me feel a little better. And after some trial and error, I was able to get through the second scar fight and kill everybody in the process, which is a rarity for me. Of course, I am automatically caught by the big scar dude at the door. There's no way to avoid it. It's just the way it is. Wow, this is going really bad. I know you wish things were different. I was doing really good at the hospital fight though, until I wasn't paying attention and sat right in front of an enemy, thus causing me to have to restart the whole encounter. Good job, me. Good job. 
And naturally, stupid Ellie lets Nora get away and ended up getting me spotted by the enemies, causing me to fail my challenge again! Ellie! You're holding a gun, not a baseball bat! Shoot her! The basement fight was simple enough. I just let the clickers take out the WLF losers while I made my daring escape. Easy as pie. And after all that nonsense, Ellie finally gets to hit Nora in the head like she wanted to from the start. And we're done with day two. Thank goodness. I was failing a lot. Day three. Is she pregnant? Yes, Jesse. She is. But this is not about her, Jesse. It's about me. I'm the protagonist. So after Jesse literally got us spotted while he was shooting at the enemies, I had to restart the encounter, which went much better on my second attempt. And I super sneaky stealthy styled my way through the second scar encounter with no problem. Oh yeah. So after that, we headed to the mall. And while Jesse was over at the food court getting us some victory hot dogs, I was busy still killing all of the enemies in the area. But Jesse started taking a long time to get back with our hot dogs, and I began to get worried. So so, like any good friend, I stole a boat and headed out to investigate. And guess what, guys? For the first time ever in any video I have ever made, I am actually going to fight the last group of humans before the bloater fight. Normally, I would just ride right past them, but I didn't want anyone to spot me. So, I had to sneaky style kill them. Well, more like sniper shot kill them. Regardless, they couldn't find me. And obviously, there's no way for me to stealth through the bloater fight, so I just killed that dude as quickly as possible and added the point to my counter. And at long last, I have made it to the aquarium, where Alice spots me in instantly. <sighs> this game just can't let me win, can it? I'm not gonna count the Melon Owen cutscene, however, since it isn't a combat section like it was for Alice. Mostly. But also because I just don't want to count it. How you doing? I'm not gonna lie, Jesse. I've been failing this challenge a lot. My self-esteem is pretty low right now. Frankly, I don't think it could get much worse. <laughs> And it got worse. All right, we're Abby now. We have joined the roided side. So after invading Rory Gilmore's personal space, the gang and I headed out on our great adventure, where we get spotted immediately. Dang it, Manny, this is all your fault. Every time I hitch a ride with someone, I end up getting shot at. So I carefully snuck my way through the first part of the Home Depot fight with ease. Now, since I am forced into a confrontation at the Home Depot, obviously I can't stealth my way through the area here, but I was a little curious what would happen if I turned on invisible while prone while the infected were in the area, and I wanted to see if they would still come after me. I know this is technically cheating, but I was losing a point in this area anyway. I just wanted to experiment. Plus, it was totally pointless anyway, because the infected still came after me and attacked me even after I had it turned on. Oh well. And the train yard fight was no problem, because I basically always sneak my way through there anyway. And of course, I get spotted at the gas station. Heaven forbid I try and be sneaky. I need to show you guys something. What is it? Follow me. Who's in that body bag? Oh my gosh! Okay, that's the last time I'm gonna mention my book. In this video, at least. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I head off to chat with grumpy old Isaac, but since Abby hates old men, she decides to bail on that noise and go after Owen. A young man. Just give it 10 years, Owen, and Abby will be trying to club you to death too. So after getting spotted by a clicker that chased me through the walls, I started to think about how this challenge had a lot more failures than I was initially expecting. After that sadness, I quietly John wicked my way through the infected area, ninja stealth my way through the first round of scars, as I usually do, and narrowly dodged the second wave of scars like a boss. So after Abby is forcibly put into nap time, she has a nice dream about celebrating Christmas. Aw, how in season. All I want for Christmas is justice. So I automatically fail the fight in the woods. Stupid stalkers. Ugh, I hate stalkers. In this game and the ones that follow me home. So annoying. I also fail the fight with the big lady and in the woods and at the restaurant. Wow, this is just getting embarrassing. Enough with the stalkers! Have I not suffered enough? But on the bright side, I totally nailed the boat fight. I was sneaking around there like a boss. Definitely made the last few hundred failures feel a little bit better. And then Abby goes to have a disgusting affair with Owen, just completely spitting in the face of their friend Mel. I'll well, fuck her then. Yeah, Dina, that's basically how the game treats Mel, if I'm being honest. Tomorrow. Uh. The shipping yard fight was a breeze. I just killed the enemies, which lured more enemies. So then I killed those enemies, which lured more enemies. And then I killed those. And now I have successfully saved the children from the murderous cult. Wow. Way to go, Abby. You did what literally any decent adult would do. What a hero. So Lev and I headed out on our amazing journey where I was once again forced to get spotted in the affected section. Since as far as I could tell, there's really no way to sneak my way through there. And unfortunately, it's pretty hard to sneaky style my way through the first scar fight since Lev decided to scream in pain after getting shot, giving our position away. What a baby. You can evade detection after a while, but since the first group of scars come running straight for you, I'll just count this as a fail. 
And even though the roof fight took me a couple of tries, I was eventually able to stealth my way through the area at lightning speed. Maybe it's just because I've played this game so many times, but this actually isn't going too bad. So after coming off of the high, after being able to successfully sneak my way through a fight for once, poor Abby's weak constitution couldn't take it, and she decided to throw herself off the sky bridge from pure shock. And since Abby hates me and everything I stand for, she decided to make me fail my challenge again by running headlong into Stalker Incorporated. What the hell is happening right now? But on the bright side, I was able to sneak my way down the rest of the building. No thanks to you, Lev. But at least we're at the hospital now, where Abby is arrested for the heinous crime of making me fail my challenge too many times. Thanks to these heroes, this vindictive viper is locked up and can no longer ruin my challenge. No, Nora, no! So because Nora is the worst, I am now forced to continue on with this nightmare. I mean challenge. The clicker fight was no problemo. Normally I just like to sprint my way through here because I can't detect you while they're in the other rooms, but my stealth skills were pretty on point while recording this. And now it's time for the Rat King fight. Yeah, let's just skip over that. You all know this isn't happening. You and the mini Rat King are just the bane of my existence. I just hope you know that. But we are now out of the hospital, Yara's arm is now successfully hacked off, and I am on to day three. Things are looking up. Lev, no! Life is so cruel. So Yara and I head out to find Baphomet, I mean Lev. And I got spotted again during the Tommy Sniper section with Manny. At least his rifle wasn't causing Ellie pain in this run, but he sure wasn't doing me any favors. So after Abby once again narrowly dodges facing responsibility for her actions, Yara and I are off to the Scar Island, where I will surely fail my challenge about 60 more times. And after I had to restart the first Scar encounter about 10 times because I kept getting spotted for some reason, I eventually made it through there. Yay! It really shouldn't have been that hard though. And then I easily maneuvered my way through the second Scar fight with little problems. You guys don't see a dang thing. And then we found Lev. Liv, I get shot and stabbed all the freaking time. A few cuts is not that bad. Cut your crying, we've got places to be. And after a lot of trial and error at the mall, I was eventually able to take out all the scars and bust out of there. I did have to kill all the scars and WLFs at the restaurants if I wanted to get to the horses undetected, which I did easily. And then after getting noticed by literally everybody while on horseback, I proceeded to pistol whip Lev in the back of the head and we carried on. Getting through the last encounter was by far the easiest out of today's bunch. I just used the fire, chaos, and death as a veil to disguise my attacks. Thank you, fire, chaos, and death. And then, after narrowly making my way out of that situation, I was once again forced to fail my challenge while I fought the big scar dude. Curse you, Lev. Curse you and your stupid child brain. But at long last, we have made it out of there and are on our way home. Thank goodness. I have had a very long day, and I really just want to chill out right now. <laughs> Oh man. All right, time for revenge. So since Abby has to beat up Ellie here, I guess I'll count this area as a fail. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to tell if I should count this since I do need to sneak up behind Ellie if I want to beat her. Eh, you know what? I'm not gonna count it. Abby does need to be all sneaky and gosh darn it, I have failed way too much in this challenge already. Sorry, Ellie. So after Ellie has a nice little flashback. I don't need your fucking help, Joel. Are you sure about that? We're back to Abby, who easily sneaks her way past some infected and then walks right into a trap. Well done, Abby. Well done. So Ellie once again wanders right into a stalker fight, making it basically impossible to sneak through the area. And trust me, I tried. I was able to stealthily sniper shot the last round of infected, so that was nice, I guess. I said, I guess. And now we're at the moment that always manages to make these challenges needlessly harder. The Rattlers. The first area wasn't too bad, it was just a bit harder taking out the enemies when they have their helmets on. But I made it through okay. Mostly. The second area was a breeze. I was taking out enemies like there was no tomorrow. Not one person had the tiniest whiff of a clue that I was ever there. That's how it's done, son. And then I got spotted almost immediately in the last area. But my second attempt went much better. I love using the clickers to kill everyone. Makes my job 10 times easier. And with that, I have found Abby. It was definitely not worth it. All right, we did it, it's over. Here's my total number of failures. So in the end, am I good at stealth? Nope, not even a little. I was a fool to think I was and I was an even bigger fool to try and change. And I'd have to say, that's a pretty good moral to end on. All right, Merry Christmas everybody. Thanks for watching.